Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Before we get too far into it, I want you to know that I've got dogs, <laughs> I've got cats, I've got <laughs> screaming toddlers who don't feel good, I'm congested by own self, I'm also exhausted, so <laughs> no promises on the quality of this video. However, <laughs> I've recently done some shopping at Walmart and Meijer and this is just kind of like a collective haul of things I've been buying that I want to tell you guys about or I think you might be interested. So just to get this stuff out of the way, um, these are actually from Sam's Club, but they currently have like these big trick-or-treat containers. Uh, they've got them with pretzels, which is this one, and they've also got them with cheese puffs. They are, we'll just round it up to like $7 a piece, so like six and change. And you get 60 individual packages per container. And I've actually gotten these for my son for snack time after nap time. Because they're literally like just the perfect serving size for him. And so I thought you guys might want to know about these. Because if your kid likes to eat snack foods, like we don't have them on hand often. My son really only gets them after nap time. But they're really like the perfect serving size. I guess the pretzel comes with 70 bags. And the cheese balls come with 60. What are you doing, Goober? Crazy baby. Crazy baby. But these are like the perfect size to send in lunches. I've been sending them with my husband. And at like seven bucks a jar, it's not bad, especially if you compare the prices with like getting pre packed like goldfish or something like that. Like I I just thought the pricing was really good. I know the technically they're for handing out to trick-or-treaters, but like we just be using them from around the house for ourselves. And I would recommend anybody checking them out. So my kiddo has already pulled these ones out, so we'll go ahead and talk about it. I think it was the only thing in the bag. But Walmart currently has like their Graminals fall winter stuff out. This is a little sweater I picked up for my son. It, has, it says, hear me roar. There's also matching dinosaur pants. We did not buy the pants. We just got the t-shirt uh, or the sweater. His is a size 2T and it's 448. And these sweaters are so soft. They have them all the way from newborn up to 5T. And they're just... They're so soft. He had some of these last year. I love them. Like, if they made them in adult sizes, I would wear them. And they have a variety of different styles. I think I have another sweatsuit set to show you. Same kind of sweater, uh, except that I also got the pants for it, and, but it's a different style, you know? So, heading into Meyer. So, got my kid a Hot Wheels car. That's no longer in the packaging. I got my prenatal vitamins, if you didn't know, I am pregnant. And I wanted to put these in here to talk about because if you're pregnant and need prenatal vitamins and you have a Meyer in your area, go to Meyer because they don't charge you for prenatals. They are completely free as long as you have insurance. So with my last pregnancy with him, I talked about Meyer prenatals. This pregnancy, I want to talk about it again. Go to Meyer. <laughs> Go to Meyer. Go to Meyer for your prenatal vitamins. And I also picked up a thing of infant formula because I am pregnant. Um, formula that is powdered has about a two-year uh, lifespan on it, so this is good until 2021. <laughs> You're slobbery. <laughs> Didn't mean to offend him. <laughs> Um, but we're starting to stockpile out right now. Um, I was not able to breastfeed with my son. <laughs> my milk never came in, so we had to use bottles. And so with this baby, I'm just, I'm preparing to not be able to breastfeed this one. I mean, if for whatever reason I am, fantastic, but I'm not, you know, betting on it. So we're starting to stockpile now. <laughs> And then Meyer had a sale going on some of their um, toddler clothes. So these were originally $5 each, and they were marked down to like three and some change per pair of pants. And he just needs some pants. So then, <laughs> you are a goober. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Roar. Roar. Ka. Ka. 
Where is your pie pad? Pie pad. So I just picked up two pairs of pants because he really needs pants that fit him. Um, he's not wearing all of his pants from last spring. So a black pair and a gray pair. And I like that they're tapered at the edges. I just like that style for him. So he's not walking around on his uh, pant legs and they're not getting wet if it's like raining or snowing outside. Then they also had some things on clearance in the older kids section. I got this for $4.50, it was regular $9, and it is a PJ Masks. Gecko? Where's Gecko? 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 Where's Gecko? Come here. Show us Gecko. Which, one, which one's Gecko? Gecko? I don't know if they can see behind your head. You and your big head. Where's Gecko? Gecko? Hey! Hey! Catboy? Is that one Catboy? Yeah. Alouette. Catboy. Gecko. So PJ Mask is his favorite TV show. The smallest size they had was a size 7. So it is going to be humongous on him. But he got really excited when he seen the t-shirt. And I thought, you know what, he can just sleep in it as a nightgown. I know he's a little boy. And it's, I don't know, some people might frown at that. But I don't care if he sleeps in nightgowns. It's fine. So we just got him this to be like a sleep shirt that he can sleep in because it's we're going to be a few years before he fits into this. And we got it on sale for $4.50. It was regular $9. Not sure where to look that. Okay, so switching back over to Walmart. So they had um, some Halloween shirts on sale for, I think they were on sale for like $2.50. Oh, $2.84 back here. I think I got it for $2.50 because I'm pretty sure I had a clearance mark on it. Um, it says Peekaboo. His is a size 24 months for Halloween. Well, that's just what that looks like right there. Just cute little Halloween. They had one that had, they had one with suspenders on it that I really wanted to get him, but they didn't have it in his size. This was the only one in his size, and he doesn't have any shirts for Halloween this year, so I went ahead and picked that up. Thought it was really cute. And the nice thing about stuff like this is that even after Halloween, I can put him in like a pair of bib overalls, and it'll like cover up the lettering, and then he just has a nice long sleeve shirt, or I can layer it with like a t-shirt, and you know, make like a really good undershirt come this winter. So here's the uh, sweatsuit I was telling you about that. Um, it's kind of like the, uh, the dinosaur shirt. I wanted to get him in the, this in the worst way the first time I seen it. Uh, the shirt is a size 3T and the pants. So uh, the shirt's a 3T and the pants are a 2T. When I first seen this, I think they only had the pants and I was like, what am I gonna pair that with? But they finally got the shirts back in. I think it's so cute. It's just space, black with stars and planets. I don't think it glows in the dark. It would be cool if it did. Again, it's that like super soft sweatsuit material. I paid $4.48 for the top and for the bottoms. And again, this is just something where like I wish they made these in adult sizes because they're so cozy. They're great for the middle of winter. Keep your kids warm. They're super cute. They're super comfy. And he's already got like three or four of these. Um, I did a haul of fall baby clothes. I can leave a link below. And we bought several of these for this year. So I also bought him a pair of jeans because he's outgrowing all of his jeans from last year. Uh, he's fully into a 24 month or two T, so all of his 18 month and 12 month are like fighting the floods on him. So I picked him up a pair of jeans, again from the Grand Middles line. Um, they were $4.48. Uh, they are cinched around the ankle there. Again, I like that because when I put him in boots in the winter time, he won't be getting his pant legs wet. I like the worst when your pant legs get wet. I hate that. Um, and then it's stretchy waist and the drawstrings are just for looks, they don't do anything, but I thought they were kind of cute. The little pockets here on the side. I just really like the brand Moss clothing. Super cheap, super affordable. I mean, your kid's only going to wear it for like three months if you're lucky. Like, why do you want to spend a lot of money, you know? So, the rest of the stuff is all going to be maternity wear, and it may or may not be try-on. I'm sorry, I don't know. I feel like crap. We'll see if I feel like doing try-on later. Um, currently, I'm wearing a pair of maternity leggings I guess we'll have to do try on for these you guys can see them um because I'm wearing them but super high waisted like literally up to my boobs granted like I am not showing yet so I'm sure they won't stay like that for long but they are very 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 comfortable they are from Walmart and I paid about seven dollars for them and I think honestly like even if you are not pregnant but you are a bigger woman and you like high waisted leggings you will like these like just go check out the maternity section super comfortable Nobody will know their maternity. I think they're great. 
So Walmart had a pretty big sale going on a lot of their maternity pants, which is a big reason why I wanted to film this video to begin with, but I didn't buy a whole lot of maternity clothes, so I felt like I couldn't really do a dedicated video. But uh, I got some maternity yoga pants for three bucks. They also had maternity shorts and jeans on sale for three dollars a piece. Uh, the jeans they did not have in my size, and then the shorts I decided not to get because I'm going to be pregnant all winter. Because I'm going to be pregnant all winter, and then I'm going to have my new baby at uh, the end of May, the beginning of June. So, like, I don't know that I would ever really have a reason to wear them. So, I decided not to buy them, but they were only three bucks. I seriously, I seriously thought about it, but I passed them up. And then I also got a pair of, um, they're called maternity career <laughs> pants. They're kind of like black slacks. And they were on sale for three bucks. They're the kind of pants I have to wear for work. So I was really excited to show them off here. Like, <laughs> look at this. Nobody's over there, but they're like three bucks. And they're the kind of pants I have to wear for work. So I was really excited when I found those. And then this last little t-shirt, I really hope it fits. I got it in a size large, but it looks really big. Again, it's maternity. It's got a little split here on the side. I was just completely drawn to like this army green color. I just think it's so cute. And it's going to be so pretty for like, fall so I went ahead and picked it up and I believe this one was full price it was ten dollars um, but if it doesn't fit it's definitely going to go back to the store but it just looks super big and so I really think it will fit and so like again like, even if you're not pregnant and you just think this is cute like go check it out because it might fit you I mean it don't look like a maternity shirt in my opinion and I don't know it's really soft really cute I hope it fits pretty excited about it so that is everything for my collective Walmart admire haul. I really hope you did enjoy. Um, I guess, I guess that's everything. So I'm gonna pick up and then go lay down because I just don't feel good. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.